Hey, welcome to a slightly different kind of video. I need your help. Um, I'm kind of... I'm on the fence about some two, two different topics. First topic, uh, this treadmill motor. Second topic, max NC spindle speed and uh, drive belt. I'm getting a new drive belt, and I got two options. I want your advice on... Because you guys, you are some savvy viewers, right? You're smart guys. You're interested in CNC. You have to be. And sometimes you get a little too focused and a little narrow perspective in your life. And it's nice to have some outside viewers because everybody looks at things differently, you know, from a different angle. Topic though first, we have the, uh, the incline motor from the treadmill, the, the one where we salvaged um, the main drive motor. And this is the incline motor. Now, if you look, this is geared way down. So I'm thinking, the way this was set up, it was, uh, it was going to, my guess, it was uh, in tension, and it would pull, push and pull, or lay off on slack uh, as it decreased the distance. We have about three inches of travel here. And I want to do an experiment to see just how much weight this is going to lift, or... Uh, maybe put a scale under it and something on top of it and see if I push down on the scale, see if I can break my scale. Uh, but I'd like to do an experiment to see just how much force this thing puts out. I'm thinking mini arbor press, electric DIY mini arbor press. Now, you don't get the feel, and I get that. I get that's why there aren't electric arbor pressers out there. But, you know, I have it lying around. It's just, it's just sitting here begging. It says, use me. I'm thinking electric DIY arbor press. I mean, I can't help but think that's going to have a lot of force behind it. I mean, that's it's a bit it's a bit loose, but I think we could put like some kind of guide on here for the arbor. Uh, maybe two uprights and uh, like a series of different spacers in here, because uh, I, I see myself pressing a lot of bearings and. Uh, me pushing nuts into like little screws in the future as I upgrade and modify equipment. Uh, so I think this could be really handy. And you know, the reason you're watching this channel is because you want to build cool things. So I thought, good idea, bad idea. Put your comments, your thoughts down below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, second. Drive belts, pulleys. <clears throat> Here's, here are my two candidates for materials. I have you, this is a XL series, three eighths of an inch wide uh, drive belt. It's for a synchronous pulley. It's got teeth on the inside like that. And uh, would, be, would uh, offer sure traction. So that's a, that's a positive. Uh, it, I mean, it just, it seems like it, it's, it would be sturdier than this. This is, I believe, poly... Ah, crap, I forget. Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a plastic, right? It's, uh, it's the stuff that they, uh, you can melt it together uh, and weld it. If you heat up the ends and smoosh it together and then trim off the smoosh. But it, it's, it's pretty grippy, especially to itself. It's got a good coefficient of friction. And my thought was it would be much easier to manufacture the pulley. Uh, this is as an example. But we could put this on the spindle and increase the diameter on the lathe pretty easily. Uh, and it would just wrap around and drive it that way. Um, I mean, both of these materials were, I think they were five bucks a piece. That's, uh, I'm a little worried about the stretch in this one. But it is easier to manufacture. And I'm a little worried that if WD-40 ever gets up in here, in between uh, the spindle pulley or the motor pulley, that it could slip. And then it'd just go, nothing would happen. But on the other hand, they want 30 bucks uh, a pulley for these things to match up with this, which is highway robbery. Uh, I looked into it. I would need to have like a 1 16th inch uh, end mill to be able to mill out the teeth on my own pulley if I was to do it myself. Uh, again, money but then i got to thinking i have inventor access to inventor and inventor has models of synchronous pulleys and i can do custom ones 
and Inventor can export to SDL, and SDL can be file format can be used to make a 3D printed synchronous gear. Now, this is a direct model from McMaster Car. I just took off the set screw por portion of it, and um, yeah, the, obviously McMaster Car does not give you every bit of the model that you need it's just general overall size and then kind of a placeholder teeth it's to keep this sort of thing from happening ah so that's no good but you know it took an hour to print and it is super tough i'm trying to break it yeah so super tough the only thing i'm worried about with this one is my set screw how do i secure this to the shaft you know, I, I'm not sure if this plastic, even if it's solid and I thread it, if it's going to hold up to the amount of force being applied to it through the spindle. Uh, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Uh, I can see it going either way. I guess I could make like a uh, an inner like sh like a sleeve, if you will, of metal that I could glue to the plastic and then thread the metal for my set screw to attach to the pit the spindle shaft. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I could go either way, but at any rate, so easier to manufacture, but I mean, it's orange and stretchy. I don't know. It'd be fun. It might be fun. I, at the very least, I'm going to try welding it because that'll be a fun task. But this, this seems cool as frig, right? We could, I, I could print out multiple size pulleys, and if I could find a way to quick put them on and off the spindle, I'd have a, a much more flexibility on the top end. Like, I need to do 20,000 20, RPM. Well, I just print out, like, a real small one of these. Uh, I need to go 10,000. Print out a slightly bigger one. You know, you, you, you catch my drift? This, this seems cool, but not everybody has a 3D printer. But you can get this kind of stock and drill it out and, on a drill press or something, so this might be more accessible to people uh, as far as making you know the the pulleys for this so comment down below let me know your thoughts i got a bit of a honeydew weekend this weekend uh so i'm not going to really have a whole lot of time to put to manufacturing this so i figure you got till next friday to to think about it i'm going to think about it whatever option down below has the most instances of people giving me good rational reasons for it other than yeah go for it uh you know i'll take either anyway most uh most wins. Yeah. All right. Well, take care, fellas and, and lady, and we'll, uh, we'll see you later.